All right, today's video is going to be about map knowledge. About I'm not going to go through every map. This is just going to be the basic map. I'm just playing by myself right now. But so number one thing about map knowledge is knowing how to get from point A to point B, C, D. And I what I mean by that is like the best ways. All right, so Let's say bombs up here. Or well, not bombs, sorry. Look at the hostage. It's right here, right? So I don't know if we can ping. Okay, we can. Um, so you're coming from down here. Actually, you know. Okay, yeah. You're coming from back here. Now, there's multiple ways to get to the hostage and make sure your air is clear. Now you can come through here. And you can go straight or right. But each way has you know each way has an effect of what you can do. Now as in like this way, you can go left right here, here, or even down. Like using there's multiple ways to go and the best way thing you best thing you can do is stuff like this right okay well I'm walking up here at least right here is clear the all this I can click that um if you want to be even more precautious you can let's see I do like this and like you can see in here and most likely you can hear that's the thing sound is very important in this game and then you're like okay so at least this area is clear up here is clear and I can most likely hear what's it going on in there okay so you're gonna push back here you know check your corners check everything because people I, it happens to me all the time people are always like oh just coming up out of nowhere now, last thing you probably want to do before you enter any room is make sure that room is clear. Now, I have my drone in here, but I want to make sure it's clear. And, like, again, you know, what you're going to be doing is listening. Sound in this game is very important. Okay, so let's, let's see. Okay, so we hear and see someone that's in here, right? The room that's right here in front of me. Okay. So what we're going to do is do this, and we're going to look around. We're going to look around. We see them. Let's say we see them right there in the corner. Okay. Don't mark. Do not mark. What you're going to do is use whatever utility you can to get their attention to move your way or even just hopefully kill them with that. You know what I mean? Like, that grenade should potentially kill someone. You know, and I don't, I don't really honestly know if it would or not. So that's just one way of getting here. There's multiple ways. There's this, there's that, there is this hatch. Fuck. There's this hatch, there's this window. If you're playing tomorrow, you can do that and come up here, grab hostages and run out. You can ash this, ash ash that you know sledge you can do so much but the thing is you got to know where people are and that's what I need map that's what I mean by map knowledge and that's why map knowledge is very important now it is very important to learn operators first because of the fact that orcs can come all the way from basement in a matter of less than 10 seconds and be back up here you could be down here I could be all the way down here doing a 1v1 with Oryx. His, he can jump up here, up here, and be back up up top. And that could be a bad call out on my part, as in, oh, I'm doing a 1v1 with Oryx, and be like, oh, Oryx is all the way in a garage. And it turns out he's not. And all I got to be is, you know, people are like, oh, it's clear. They're going to push in, and, well, no, it's not. Now, that's just how that works. And so, like I said, always have cams. 
you know, ready to go. Cams like this, listen around, you know, listen, listen, listen. Best thing you can do in this game is listen. And, you know, like, reinforce everything. You know, sometimes it's better not to reinforce. Like this, this wall. If we, if you open up this wall, re say you reinforce this, that wall, reinforce this wall, this basically, or even like, if you seconds. try to, you can have this as well. Like, Ten you seconds. can, depending on the maps Hostage and everything like that, you can do a lot. You can extraction successful. Good work. Hold up a lot of points, choke points, and things like that. Like a lot of spawn killing you can do in this game. I'm not going to go through all of it or anything like that either. But there is a lot of spawn killings that you can do to help accelerate things. Um, let's do Valkyrie for the point of getting a lot of places locked down. You need to keep the hostage secure. Fortify the room. Okay, so best thing to do with Valkyrie or really anyone is get as much line of sight not line of sight but uh much area of effect with her cams and what i mean by that is okay i guess it's not gonna work um get as much like this i can see all the way into i don't know what room that is but i can see all the way over here i can see this doorway Five seconds left. Called Playroom. I can see right here. And that Good camera work. looks... You can see it, here. but most people are not going to be like, Oh, well, oh, there's that over there. They're not going to be like that. Okay, so you can see all the way over here. Yes, it's small, but you can see someone entering in right here. So, if anything, you can be right here. Someone's on it. They're like, oh, someone's entering the door to your left. From playroom. Boom, dead. Like that. Um, same thing right here. Now these are not like the best camera places for you to put. Like I said, I will and can do videos like that. I will have to do more uh, research and have to do this a whole lot more. Which I mean, I can. Um, like that. Okay, see, you can see someone's coming in from the stairs right there or if someone is repelling the window coming in through corridors or even in the closet or even in bomb or whatever objective it's, it is or and then it can be like since that camera's over there you can like best thing that also nothing to do with any cam is marking if you have a full team don't mark all you have to do is this but oh someone's right there oh someone's over there Oh, uh, someone's in room right there, you know, around that area, two feet to the left of that, from your position, you know. And like I was trying to say earlier, is, okay, let's just reinforce everything. Have a shotgun or another impact impact that best thing to do is impact that one as well and then if your castle which you know, he is getting he is probably the weakest one right now but have that castled and then have Let's see if we can find me a can. Hmm. Let's 
See, that's the thing about I don't play this. Well, this map not. I don't think this map is even ranked, so this map wouldn't really be even one to worry about. See, I'm trying to find something that would be. And it's like I can't even go inside of it. Okay. Actually, you know what? I ain't dealing with that. So, they're up here. I said they're attacking up there and from down here. Someone's coming up from right here. You're going to get spotted right here. Most time when most time when people they're not literally looking up there. Even if you have like, say you have a kill hole right there, they're not really going to be looking up there. So your kill hole will distract them, which is good. Coming up, you know, like that. I say you have all these rooms, hold it off, and this angle right here. Boom. Anyone going upstairs? Dead. This room is technically you shouldn't want to do anything around room that's gonna lock off sites like that. But in this scenario, it does help because you have this room, this room, which is a entry point for um, out of sight or um from outside. All area. these points are actually really good. Like, can you like really not actually? Oh, that works. And like I said, you can use most of these cams for sounds. I don't know if there's a. I mean, I probably could throw it in that one. Throw it in that one. You'll see it right here, and then you can also see right here. It, here, uh, potentiality is seen here. I don't know. Now, there's a lot of things you can do. Like, it just kind of depends. Just different variants of each. For Valkyrie, at least, that's what I'm trying to say. But, you know, you have all these rooms are yours. That cam's outside. You can have someone sitting right here. And then, you know, this is, if you wanted to. Could have this as well. Have someone holding right here, or even having someone hold right here. Watching this, someone holding right here. Because uh, what you want to do is make sure no one comes in through here. And so, just for that reason, uh, you can't really get shot from right here. Someone can throw a grenade from over there, but you need to hold this. Ten that if someone comes in from there, you should be able to grab that regardless. Five seconds left. So that's how you kind of like do it up here. I mean, everywhere else is kind of self-explanatory. It's the same concept for a every area. But like I said, map knowledge is for I think one of the best things to do. But for like learning process of getting better at the game, it's not the number one thing. Because you can do, you need to learn a lot of other things before you do that. And it's, I think it is probably, like, you know, you should do that. Because, like, if you think you about it, the what's the best way to get to a room? What is the safest way to get to a room? The only way a room is not safe is if the defenders do something about it. And that's why there's a lot of trap operators for that reason. There's a lot of maps where operators exceed, um, excel on for the fact that they are hard to find. Like they are like I'm traps or like seconds. dark and or hidden in a corner or like they'll cut off points, you know, Five stuff like that. Insertion. What the hell actually is this hostage? You are clear to engage. Find the hostage and proceed to extraction point. Bruh.
Oh. Pot is located. Now, as you can see, most of everything is hardwood floor. You can play. Okay, so let's think about it. Probably. Oh well, never mind. It's. I hate bars like that. I mean, they do it for a reason, I get it, but still. Okay, let's think about it like... Is that going through? I don't know. Oh, hell no, it's not. Okay, think about it like this. You know someone's right here. Boom. You know, holding angles like that, or even doing the fact of... One, two, three, eight. By the time you do that, you should be spotted and you can come right back into the building. Playing from a below, you know where hostage is. But you know there's like traps. Because you know, a lot of people, um, be putting frost traps. Now, I personally do not like frost. But again, she is a, a you know, everyone's preference. So. Your best thing to do, if you know, if you don't know a map, the best thing to do is try and learn it. Try and, you're not gonna be good at that map for a while until you learn how to counter. How you, until you learn how to get around, get to doing it, you're not gonna be good at the map. second you learn every map is the second you can start winning being a true plat there's a lot like right now um i am a gold one i think but i mean i started out as a gold three and i've been winning slash losing a majority of my games i've been winning i'm winning majority of my games and the game maps that I play are maps that I know and like. That's another thing about map knowledge. If you know you like a map, then play it. But if you know you don't really like the map that much, you're not necessarily going to win. Like, Outback. I like it, but not to the point where I want to play it constantly. That map was being played constantly last season, and it got very annoying. So, I don't really like playing it for that fact. Because, one, we played it all last season and kept on playing. We should technically be able to burn ourselves. Fucking hate this new update. <laughs> Come on. But like being right here, a few feet up. Okay, hold up. If I could see right there, so I need to see. Oh my god.
I need you to open the fuck up. Oh, I can't go to the roof. If you remain in this zone, you will be detected by hostiles. Your location has been compromised. Did I not shoot? So, like, if I'm right, if I can shoot around that area. Bruh. See, this is why I don't like the game. Maybe if I had an ACOG, I could see more. Or like... Yeah, 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 I see it now. I see it now, okay. Yeah, this would be a little nice spawn kill. I'll, you know... Editor's note, make sure you d delete some of this footage. But yeah, like right there. Holding that angle right there. I even fact of putting that right there. Just make sure you're not lined up perf perfectly with that. You will be detected if you remain in this area. You have been spotted. I know I see the plants. Um. So you see about right here, so I know it's like right, uh, right here, yeah, 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 around right here, right here. There's one you can start shooting. I didn't know you could do this. And the fact that someone did this, oh my god, it's game over for him. But yeah, so that's what today's video is about, map knowledge, and that, yes, it was just this map but you can use it for technically any map of uh, it's any skill set you can for that down to 15 seconds you know fat operators are chosen for certain maps for a reason 10 seconds to certain go. bomb objectives especially too so one that has three hatches but no big Five walls remaining probably don't want to use therma now you can do so with the new system they got a new combo you can uh, do something but you know I wouldn't say use thermite now uh, if you like his guns go ahead but if you rather do anything else I wouldn't I wouldn't choose him so yeah that's what today's video is about it's just map knowledge um next video is going to be about something different of course it's you know it's gonna be good well, I hope you guys liked the video. Hope you guys enjoy, and I hope you guys are learning something. I am learning from this. I'm learning how to be a better commentator. I'm learning how to talk properly. I'm learning how to actually to take my own advice into my own games. That's one of my biggest flaws is I know what to do. I just don't use it because I get in my head a lot, and I need to get out of my head. I just need to be able to think quicker, and that's another thing. You know about this game. Another little quick tip about this game is thinking. That's key. Well, I hope you guys have a nice day and hope you guys enjoy the video as well. You know, like and subscribe if you're new. Peace out, dogs.